Welcome to the Kalix Services channel. I am Thelma and I'm sitting in our pineapple container garden. Well, this is a demo we set up about 15 months ago and I know some of you probably were waiting patiently but we had to wait until there were some developments and there's a lot to share with you so please keep watching. Welcome back and thanks for staying. For those of you who saw part one of the Growing Pineapples in Containers demo, you would have seen how we set up this demonstration. But just in case you haven't seen it as yet, I'm just going to provide you with a few of the highlights of that demo so that you can better follow along with this part two. We started the demonstration with 12 plants. There were three suckers, three slips and six crowns. No, what are suckers, slips and crumbs? Suckers are also called pups or plantlets and are produced between the leaves at the base of the mother plant. This is a rather large sucker. Slips are produced on the flowering stalk just below the fruit and crumbs, they are taken from the top of the fruit and consist of the tuft of short leaves and a small portion of the fruit. We watered as needed and fertilized every two or three months with foliar fertilizer 2020-20. But yeah, we learned the hard way. There were a few challenges which we are now going to be discussing with you. They were doing well up until the fourth month after we set up the demo. But between the fourth and the eighth month, we had prolonged periods of really heavy rains and that had the effect of really depleting the potting mix of all nutrients. And even though we attempted to increase the frequency of application, it really was a tough time keeping these plants fed. And you're looking at them here now at nine months after we set up the demo, and they have still not returned to what I consider healthy color. We actually lost three of the MD plants to root rot. Those were planted in the plastic bags and the drainage there was clearly, <laughs> um, it left something to be desired. We obtained more planting material, mainly of the sugar loaf variety and added an additional six pots. So now we have 15 pots in that space. This is what our pineapple container plot looks like after 13 months. It's about time that we start seeing some fruits, isn't it? Those of you who saw the first video would remember that the suckers take between 12 to 15 months to produce fruits and that slips take even longer, between 16 to 20 months. And as to the crowns, don't look for fruits before 22 to 24 months after planting. Now, it also suggests that the suckers that we started off with, it's about time that some of them Start to produce fruit and we were not disappointed. Here are the two larger suckers that we started off with, the sugarloaf variety and right on schedule 14 months they started producing those tiny little flowers, a show indication that the pineapple fruit will soon appear and for that we had to wait another two months. These are the first two plants that provided us with fruits. They are the sugar loaf variety and when we planted them they were about already three months old so it's no surprise that they are a little advanced of the others in the demo and isn't this lovely. Look at what uh, this has been out now about two months and you see the shape of the pineapple is already very distinct complete with the little crown on, on the top. So what about the other plants? Well it's a bit hard to compare the growth of all plants at the same time because after all the replacement plants were younger but what I'm going to do is just show you how the different planting materials how they are developing and I'm standing next to our seven crowns plants that were started from crowns you may not think this large one here is a crown but it was um, in the original lots this is the MD4 variety 
And at this point, this crown is 15 months old. So it has a few more months to go before we can expect it to flower. But all the other crowns, the other six crowns you're looking at here, are rather young. I would say they're between seven, eight months old. They've established well. They're all the sugarloaf variety, the most popular variety around. It's very sweet and it is what you'll find in most gardens. The next type of planting material, I've already mentioned the suckers, the original sugarloaf suckers. And the suckers are all lined up along this ledge. So, ow! <laughs> this is one I think they call the cowboy, but don't hold me on that. I'm going anxious to see what the fruits look like. Look, look like it's going to be a smaller reddish fruit. This too is a sugarloaf. So the four suckers, different ages, which is a good thing. We'll be reaping pineapples over a longer period of time. We also have four slips. This one right in front of me. And there are three others against the back wall. They're all about the same size. So when they're ready to bear fruit, they'll be coming in at around the same time. It was a very interesting 15 months where we attempted to look after the pineapples in pots to the best of our abilities. There's so much going on in the garden that there are times when I got a little off schedule, but we did learn a few things. For example, maybe planting um, pineapple in plastic bags is not such a good idea because the soil did tend to compact and retain too much moisture. The other aspect is the nutrition. The plan we had of fertilizing every two to three months is not sufficient for growing pineapples in pots. And we have decided to go on a special nutrient enhancement program, which I am going to feature as a separate demo and we'll bring that to you as part three of the growing of pineapples in containers. And if you are a subscriber, you will of course get your notification when that is released. I hope. Well, if you have lasted this long in this video, I can assume that you found it interesting. So please give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed as yet, now is a good time to do so. Until the next video, I am Thelma saying thanks for watching, take care, and bye-bye.